Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Michael here, the body beat down. Well, we're doing something a little different today, and that is because I got this little cut on my finger, this little gash on my finger that I did yesterday morning. So I can't really be doing any deadlifts, or I'm just going to pop the thing back open there. So uh, today I'm going to substitute deadlifts and do some leg workout, just a few things, something brand new. I'm going to try and do this vertical press uh, with my uh, legs laying down here. I'm going to try and do that. I only did like a little sample video of it uh, about a week ago or something like that just uh, to see if I could even do it with just the bar. So I'm going to redo that and warm up and see how I feel about it. And we'll do that live right here. I've not done it up outside of just that one little quick clip I uploaded that day. So uh, even when you're hurt, when things happen, just the most minute, stupid little injuries happen. You got to keep moving forward. So yesterday was my back day, and I still got a workout in, but it was not really great. Uh, it it did aggravate my finger a little bit, and uh, it did kind of end up bleeding again last night. So just got to kind of take it easy for a day or two and uh, see what we can do. I'm really not happy that I'm not getting to do my deadlifts. I really look forward to every Saturday doing my deadlifts. So I don't really know if I got this in the right spot. We're just going to test it out as we go. Flexibility. interesting guys uh, we're gonna do a few sets of these I'm not gonna go up real heavy because it's a brand new movement so uh, and I would like to be able to get my butt further this way so I can get my legs so I can use my quads a little bit more right now it's more focused on the hands and glutes uh, I'd like to be able to get it focused more on the quads but I've only got so much room in here so much room to move things around so Got to kind of do what we got to do. So we're going to have a good workout, guys. So stick around. Never know what we're going to come up with. I'm, I even have another move uh, that I'm thinking of. I don't even know if it'll work. And uh, I'm going to try it out uh, after I do a few sets of this. So stick around, guys, and I hope we have a good workout. Okay, we're on our first actual kind of set here. We're just kind of seeing what we can do. We got thir uh 35s on the ends here, so that comes up to 107 pounds. This bar with this carriage right here all together weighs 57 pounds. So that's why the weights are always going to be a little bit different when we talk about the Smith machine.
Okay, guys, we're at 197. I got two 35s on each side, and all this is 54. Try not to pop that open there. We got 267, we got 335s on each side, and all this is uh, 57 here. I threw a 25 and a 10 on each side and uh, bar of course 57. Here we are, we're gonna do some Smith Machine squats and uh, try to use my finger as little as possible, hopefully. And uh, this is 147 we got going on here.
I'm keeping 147 on for the second set. I put on my vice grips to help me grab a hold to the bar and the pad to try to help with some comfort. As you can tell, I got a little issue with the shoulder trying to reach the bars, so. Put another 45 on the end. now I just put a 10 on each side uh, yeah maybe more I don't know what I did oh yeah got a 10 10 on each side now these we have 277 I put another 10 on each side so it's 10 10 45 45 and then the 57 pound bar and carriage so
that's that for legs. Uh, I'm not going to overdo legs because I'm going to stay on track. Monday is my leg day, so I'm still going to be doing legs Monday. And uh, what we're going to do now, if I can do it, uh, with some lightweight or some standing simultaneous dumbbell curls, and uh, hopefully it won't bother my finger, we're going to do a set and see. And uh, if it don't bother me, then I'll do five sets. Just not, you know, nothing crazy. This is just extra, you know, because I can't do my deadlifts. <laughs> Let's curl some dumbbells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh. All right, I think I'm gonna be able to do a few sets of those without hurting too much. I'm just gonna to stick to the 25s. Just give myself a nice little pump. And uh, I'll see you guys whenever I'm done and we'll close out the video. Hope you uh, stuck around. I hope you're doing your stuff today and uh, getting something done. So uh, stick around for the end of the video, all right? Don't go nowhere. All right, guys, we thought that we were going to be done, but to go with biceps, I'm going to do a little tricep workout. We're just going to do some simple press downs. I'm pretty sure I can keep my finger out of the way uh, doing that. I only have 50 pounds on there, and just like with the biceps, I'm just wanting to stimulate and get a nice little pump. So I didn't go heavy with that, just stuck with 25 pound dumbbells. 50 pounds on here. Let's do a set, guys. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to do those quite easily, guys. So I'm just gonna stick with 50 pounds. We're just stimulating the old arms today. So uh, stick around and then we're gonna close out the video and talk about a couple of things that we did or maybe a couple of things we didn't do that we had planned to do. So we'll see you in a minute. You keep doing your thing. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done with our workout. My triceps are feeling good. My biceps are feeling good. My legs are feeling pretty good, so overall a successful day. Remember, whenever life throws you lemons, make lemonade. Isn't that a crazy saying? You gotta, you know, you can't just kick back and let it knock you down. Now, see, some of you might have been like, you know, well, I won't do anything until Monday. Monday, I'm going to be completely healed and ready to go. What if you're not Monday? What if you're not healed? from whatever your problem might be, or what if Monday throws you another curveball? So you don't miss working out just because you got a problem. I worked out whenever I've had family members die. Um, I've had my youngest son go in the ER for his diabetes, he's passing out. You don't miss uh, just because things you know, happen. You just can't do that anymore. Uh, life's too short and uh, you gotta, Take care of yourself regardless of what else is going on around you. I know that might sound a little crazy and hardcore and what have you, but that's just kind of where I'm at anymore uh, since starting back working out. And uh, you, you have to get to that point to where you just can't let things knock you down. And uh, anyway, so what is not a big deal to some people, and it really ain't a big deal. I mean, my God, I've gassed myself and done other things before and my back and all my other craps that's wrong. You know, what's not really a big deal, you know, a little gash in the finger, turns out to kind of throw you for a loop just as much or more so than something, you know, way worse. So who would have funk? But uh, anyway, uh, as far as the movements go, you've seen that I did the vertical Smith machine 
leg press. I've never done that in my life except for that one uh, short clip video that I did where I just kind of thought of it and I tried it and that was the only time I've ever done it and that was just with an empty bar. And uh, I've seen people do it before and I've also seen Smith machines with plates on them. I guess you attach the plate to the bar and it gives you a place for your feet. Though That would be pretty cool. The bar was okay. Uh, and of course, you've uh, the vertical leg presses have been around for 500 years. You know, it's a machine. It's just a simple machine on, you know, you, you lay down and it's a sled and you push up. Very simple design. And uh, I've seen those for umpteen million years too. And uh, one thing about those is I want to stress something that I kind of thought before I ever even attempted to do any of these is it can put your lower back at kind of a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It can put your lower back and, and anyway, my, my brain goes. I think I got dementia or Alzheimer's or something. No joke. Anyway, a pickle. Uh, you know, that word that I'm looking for. It puts your back in a precarious situation, whatever. Uh, whenever you got to come up with your legs and get it under that bar, your lower back is totally kind of not only unsupported, it's kind of away from the pad or the floor or whatever it is you're laying on, but it's also stretched, which in theory sounds like, you know, good, and it is in some cases, but not really in this, because it can, it can hurt your back a little bit if you're not careful. I was being mindful the entire time of how it felt. And uh, so, because I know what my back is like, I know how bad it is, and I know what can throw it out, and that right there could do it, just like doing a sitting cable row can do it. Exact same spot, exact same feeling. So, you might wanna be very careful on those if you try them. And uh, if you'll notice on some of those vertical leg presses, they have a, a back, uh, the pad that you lay on kind of oh, oh, incline just a bit, so you're up. Just a hair. If you'll notice, when I was on the pad, I was kind of—I had my hands kind of behind my head and kind of keeping myself elevated a smidgen, and uh, that kind of balances things a little bit. Anyhow, long story longer, I'm definitely going to be doing those again. Those felt really good. They really did. So if you've got a Smith machine, do those. And uh, having the lockouts, those safeties, man, what a what an amazing feature. Uh, Smith machines are just really one of those machines that does it all and it does it safely. Gives you all sorts of options. It's crazy. And you seen that I did the squats and they were painful for a minute, of course, because my shoulders weren't warmed up at all anyway. And uh, trying to reach back and get that bar and then I had trouble with it because I had no strength. So then you seen me put my, I put my vice grips on there and then I put my pad on there. Give me a little bit of comfort on my neck and all that, and uh, also on my shoulders. Uh, it eases up the pain just a hair. So, anyway, the squats felt good. Uh, I had a good squat session. I just went up a little over a couple hundred pounds or so. I don't forgot. So, uh, 277. I went to 277. Yeah, which that's pretty good. So, I did those, and then I got the bicep and the tricep done as well. I miss doing my deadlifts. I, I love doing my deadlifts on Saturday. It just it gives me that really cool kind of a movement to go for every week. You know, you go through your week uh, working out, doing everything else you know, normal, and then Saturday it's like, yeah, I'm fixing to lift some heavy weight and put it down. So I look forward to my deadlift day a lot. So having to miss out today was not fun for me, but it was a smart thing to do. So I'm sorry about the long talk and all that, but hey, hey, we're connected, right? That's what you do. If you don't got time for this, you don't got time for anything, honestly. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm having a cheat supper tonight. I bought a big can of hot tamales. I bought some salsa and some chips, and I'm just going to have kind of a little makeshift kind of uh, junky Mexicano uh, supper tonight. I've had a, a lot of good food today. I'll... What I'll try to do is I'll try to upload like a little video of some, like a slideshow of the foods I've had today. I've had quite a bit of some good stuff. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your long-winded host. 
And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to them. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Oh, yeah, I also have a little pint of ice cream. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it.